Hello everyone, this is CZTL and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov informational deep dive. Today, we're going to be discussing ergonomics and the science behind it. This is a follow-up to my previous video regarding weapon weight. I'll provide a link to that at the end of this video and encourage you to watch it. I want to keep this video brief, so there may be some topics that I brush over that were covered in greater detail. Now, let's start talking about ergonomics. Unless you're brand new to Tarkov, you've probably seen the ergonomics stat before. Ergonomics is responsible for, in combination with weapon weight, both how quickly you can ADS, and how long you can hold your breath before your cursor starts bouncing around. Finally, it is the only thing responsible for how loud or how quiet your gun is when you're ADSing. I just gave you some examples, but it's hard to know how much effort to put into ergonomics unless we can quantify the benefits. Let's go do that with some numbers right now. We will start off with ADS speed. I've measured the time it took to ADS with different guns that had various ergos and weight. I then used these results in a multiple linear regression to create a model so that I could predict what the ADS time would be. This model performs pretty well, having an average error of about 50 milliseconds. You can see that over here. Using this model, I was able to calculate that Ergo has a roughly 40% effect on ADS speed, while Weight has a 60% effect on ADS speed. The formula is right here. I have also plotted the Ergo percent versus Weight at different ADS times. You can see the blue is the ergo percentage of the ADS time, and the red is the weight percentage. The last thing I want to show you is what you can do with this model. I was able to calculate that roughly 0.1 kilograms is equal to 2 ergo. You can see that in this example right here. Starting with a weight of 5 kilograms and 2 ergo, you go down 2 ergo or up 0.1 kilograms, you roughly arrive at the same number. Now let's go on to the endurance results. Since both ADS speed and ADS duration are both affected by weight and ergonomics, I took the same approach that I did with ADS speed to calculate how long you could aim down sight. The model that I created has an average error of 2.38 seconds. And using this model, I was able to determine that weight has an 86% role in how long you can aim down sights, and ergo has just under 14. So aiming down sights is affected much, much more by weight than it is by ergonomics. This is the model formula. Here's a graph showing on the x-axis the amount of ADS time. And on the y-axis, you have both ergo represented as a percentage, which, for instance, 35 ergo would be represented as 0.35 and weight. So you can see that as you get less and less ADS time, that's usually when weight has much more of a role. And now moving on to sound. Audio is very difficult to quantify with single numbers, especially in Tarkov. Sounds have many different frequencies and it's much harder to measure this. For example, footsteps, running, shots have much lower frequencies than the high pitch clicking that guns make when you ADS. The high-pitched sounds don't penetrate walls as easily. It's kind of like in your home, your 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi doesn't go as far as your 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So to me, it made more sense to just comparatively show how ergo affects sound. I used total decibels to do this because that was the e easiest way to measure it. And I only use one gun so that I can isolate one variable. This chart represents the total decibels at various ergo levels. As you can see, it's a pretty straight line here. And this is the model that I created to estimate decibels given certain ergos. It is very accurate. It's only 0.41 on average different from the actual measured results. And just so you're not confused here, the more negative, the quieter. So to put the chart in perspective, footsteps are about negative 20 decibels, 
running is actually negative 16, which I was surprised at. A slow crouch is negative 40. Slow walk is negative 35. Um, a turn when you're crouched is negative 30. Talking is minus 3, so that's pretty, pretty loud. Um, ammo unloads are about negative 35. A standing turn is about negative 20. And walking on wood is about negative 3. So that puts this chart in a, in a little perspective. And also the various ergos that you see up here. That wraps up the results summary for the data I collected and the models that I generated. I was extremely surprised to see how little ergo mattered compared to weight. My hypothesis there is that low ergo weapons, parts, and attachments are highly correlated to high weight. Still, I'm shocked and I'm sure you are too. <laughs> if you see anything that looks off from what I did here, or if you have contradictory data, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I didn't want to go overboard showing all the testing that I did, but I have all the clips, so if you'd like me to upload them, let me know. It's a lot of footage to go through. <laughs> also, I will post the formulas and a link to the spreadsheet in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed this and consider subscribing, and I will see you on the battlefield.